drops Now that you got me started I just can't stop No, no We wanted a place where artists could, could really root themselves down and, and stay and establish a home. I think a lot of artists have been moved out, particularly Manchester City Centre, due to um, developers. So we set up Grit Studios. We founded the studios 18 months ago. John and I were looking for a studio ourselves and struggling to find exactly what we wanted. So we created Grit really because we'd run out Battle Manchester for 10 years and we'd met over 300 grassroots artists. So we had this idea to open up a creative studio and here we are. <laughs> There's so much experience in the, in the building. There's 20 different creatives all doing very different disciplines. Most of them are very traditional techniques as well. So, you know, there's there's no computer screens in the building. It's all old school sort of techniques. So I love having my children here to see that there's a, a different way to do things. There's a score line there, which I'll just tap underneath and that just breaks the glass. So it's a lot like cutting tiles, you're scoring and then encouraging the glass to break along the score line. Uh, originally, uh, I got into this uh, about 20 years ago. Um, I saw an advert for an evening class and uh, so I signed up for that because it sounded interesting and it was near where I lived and uh, I kept going every week for four years and I got quite good at making windows by the end of it. I'd learnt all the techniques and then I started making windows uh, for my own house and for friends and family and then by word of mouth I started getting work from other people. I just like working with the material and, uh, you know, it, the idea that you can um, make something that somebody will have in their house that they see every day that brings them joy is the thing that, yeah, that's that's the reason I keep doing it. Yeah. So I just press around it a little bit like this, it, ra it brings the centre up and that's not perfect. Now, what I'd say here is, what I'm trying to look for is see the inside and the outside are balanced, okay, you can see that if we spin up. How do you even put it? Something to do because um, I've got quite a busy mind, something to focus my mind, something to think about when I'm not making as well. You have this world that you can go into that you can, uh, you know, it's, it's um, without it, my life would be way more chaotic. Uh, I'd have way less, uh, way more stress and way less satisfaction. So what I'm gonna do here is just thicken that back up a little bit. I wanna start down at my base down here where it's thinner and then I wanna bring both my hands up together. The next time we go through it guys as well, I completely take my hands away and I'll let you experiment with these right, things. Okay. But for the first time round, we're gonna try and get through it all together, okay? Mm -hmm. I gather inspiration from my art by trying to um, trying to remain as playful uh, and maybe then therefore as childlike as possible. As we go older, we start to say, right, I'm going to get a job doing this thing that's really serious and I'm going to stop playtime, you know? And I think for me, I've just never stopped playtime. It's, I'd say, what makes me as happy as I am. Without that, I would be, you know, not even a third of how happy I am. And then once you've done that, you move on to a process of thought, well, I'll, you know, <laughs> make myself a hat full of eyes. And you see, even the hat's got goggles, so it's all, it all fits in the same kind of idea. You can't over elaborate anything. The more detail on it, the better. And so you go from a flat sheet to a, a raised shape carry on doing that you can actually produce all kinds of domes an awful lot of what i do looks incredibly frivolous it's stuff that other people would think of as a five minute throwaway joke that they laugh about and then forget i see something that makes me laugh and then spend three days building it there's no point doing something you're not enjoying so if it's amusing, if it's kind of, you know, light-hearted and it lifts you up and it, you know, makes other people smile, then I think it's worth putting some time in. You know, jokes are wonderful things. There's no reason why they should just be thrown away. The abstract, is, it comes from within, really. It's, I think um, my experiences or my inspiration is what's around me. Yeah, and it's, it can be frustrating. I literally, sometimes I've gone and got a kettle of boiling water and thrown it all over the painting and thought, I don't like it, just to 
start over again. And then even doing that, so putting water on it creates different shapes or different textures. You know, it's quite difficult being a creative in today's society and uh, it's lonely at times. So having 20 of you in the same building is, is, is a big thing, really. The community from in this studio is something that I've actually not had since uni days when I left uni. I was in other studios, which, yeah, there was a community there, but there's something special about this community in this building. It's been, it's been very pleasant, um, not to put too fine a point on it. We couldn't, have, we couldn't have landed luckier. We've really been incredibly lucky to find the place. It's, it's superb. But then there's the added advantage that John and Sophie are just very uh, proactive people who are um, out meeting people in the council and all sorts of other people. And, you know, they'll provide opportunities for us and they're promoting us. So that's a whole new thing that we didn't have in the last workshop or the one before that. It was the sort of thing we were trying to do ourselves, but because we're just concerned with the day-to-day -day nature of our work and trying to make things, the idea of going out and networking and doing social media and all, this, all the promotional side of things, um, you know, it was, it was quite hard to do all that on top. With the pop-up shop, that's enabled us all because we've got a great space there and great light. We can all see each other's work properly. Whereas when you're in the studio, not everybody displays the work. It's more of a working space. It was, it's been great. We've had people coming in like, wow, look at this, look at that. People have embraced it and just amazed at the quality of the work. Like when we spoke to Sophie before, she said like Caroline and, and, and Graham are like a married couple, almost. <laughs> Caroline and Graham, yeah, they're great. They're, they are, they're very close. And I think now he's going to get started getting into doing stained glass with Caroline. Made in Great Britain. So AI. One of the things we're looking to do is is to get these ready to go down to Lincoln in the... Uh, August. In August, yeah. <laughs> Bank holiday. And we'll run a stall, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> Which well, will be good. yeah, try and part people from the um, We'll try and, try and convince Caroline that she wants to let them go. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> once, once they're made, I just might want them all yeah, no, in she, my house. We're a home to the grafters and crafters, people who make things. We're building a, a tribe, if you like, of of artists um, who bravely uh, make stuff and do and do artistic things in, in this society which maybe doesn't encourage that type of activity. It is rewarding and uh, it, it's more than that really those windows will be there hopefully after I've gone you know they'll there's some sort of legacy um, whereby hopefully people will still be looking through those windows um, or appreciating them in decades to come so uh, so that's the main satisfaction for me is i will leave something in the in the built environment behind after i've gone and um unless unless people throw stones at them or kick footballs at them when i first started doing this and i didn't have a studio or anything they're like what are you gonna do? like what but like people come in here I, obviously my instagram and stuff friends see that and they're like Whoa, like, what is this? And then I think, um, I don't know, it's a beautiful thing, like I said before, like people get connected to it, even if they might never want to do it or whatever, they sort of see the beauty in it. I didn't realise myself how good it was. It took me a while to actually say to myself, yeah, you know what, I am an artist. But then I do believe now that in myself, I know that I am an artist and it's what I do and it's what I'll always do. We've always said that grit isn't just about renting a space, it's about building a creative tribe. And I think hearing that feedback that people feel like it's a community and there's just a real heartbeat to it, I think it just, it, it just makes everything worthwhile because it's just, that's exactly why we've done it. Like that's, that's what we wanted from the very beginning. Mm -hmm.